Hi folks! In today's video tutorials I'd like to focus on the Creo configuration and the colors. And you can see directly right now my screen and I have prepared for me the link to Creo Parametric 4.0. You can see if I select right mouse button that if I place my config profile directly here the system automatically will load the Creo 4.0 and configuration file will be loaded directly from the Creo folder from Creo installation folder and the second config is loaded from the start in so for example I will start Creo Parametric 4.0 you can see the Creo Parametric 4.0 was started and if I will opened the configuration editor you can see that system will load my custom configuration file directly from predefined path from the shortcut if I will change it so I will close the Creo and I'd like to change it directly for example to C config yeah because over here you can see that I have my config profile so I will start in from config I will apply the modification to shortcut and OK and over here you can see that I have a full custom configuration options if I will run Creo Parametric 4.0 the system will run Creo Parametric and in the configuration editor you can see that system will load the config profile directly from definite folder so what does it mean if you would like to add some custom options you can find the option for example visibility of the datum, datum planes or something like this so you can write datum you can found and you can choose what you would like to do if you would like to hide this option or create something and so on so you can add the custom configuration options here and you can export this option directly to this file I like if I can modify the options manually so I always use modification from the file so I will write my custom configuration options here and I can manage some description or, and so on I will show you a little bit later okay so stay tuned I said that I'd like to focus on the colors so what does it mean the first question from you was how to manage custom colors for 3d model and I will select the name or set name what we can do is create the 3d objects and at the end you would like to specify the colors so you need to go to view tab and in the appearances you can see here that you have a default appearances but it's not so much and maybe you would like to manage more than is defined here so you can create your custom colors by appearance manager and over here you can see that is the possible to delete predefined colors yes yeah, so select only color and delete or you can create a new one directly from the scratch so you can select the create new appearance you can set new name so some new name and then you can specify the quality so you can change for example that will be some rubber and you would like to change the color yes yeah, so you can manage the color you can see the system will automatically modify visualization on the preview window and I'd like to use the color wheel how to manage and work with colors you can have a look on my tutorials for rendering and you will learn about all modification for the colors so you can create a lot of custom colors and then you can reuse it for your 3d model and assemblies at the end 
it's really good if you will save these appearances. If you use the icon save appearances, you can save it as file and I have specified or I have prepared the file for you and I said name appearance and you can see here it's a DMT. So system will read over here the file with as a D DMT. What does it mean? If I will close it and I will close Creo one more time and I'd like to reuse my custom colors for 3D models and assemblies, I can prepare my appearance DMT and in the config profile I have to write configuration options and path for this one. So I will open the config profile. You can specify here some note. If you would like to write some note to config profile, it's really good if you use this sign. And then you can set, for example, custom color for model. And then you need to write the configuration option. Custom configuration options for model colors is pro color map path. And then you need to specify the path. So have a look here. Pro color map path is configuration options and C config color is the folder where I have placed my appearance DMT file. So save this config profile. Yeah, file, save and close. And if I will run Creo one more time, and if I will create new 3D model, you can go to view tab and in the view tab, I will have my custom colors. So you can see here that I have more than default colors and I specify my custom names and visibility. So it was first example how to create your custom DMT file and preset configuration option for it. The second option is if you would like to modify and apply your custom background colors, for example, or if visibility of the lines or some curves ATC. So, for example, where we need to go, it's going to the option. So close everything and over here in the setting, it's a small arrow. If you select this small arrow, the system will open directly create a parametric option. You can see here that if that is a lot of different preferences, and if you will modify the preferences directly from here, the system would like to set this option to config profile. So, but I'd like to focus on the colors or system appearances. And you can see here that right now I use the default theme. If you would like to use the light theme, everything will be white and black, yeah? Or you would like the dark theme, so the system will change the colors but i don't want to use the default i'd like to specify the, my custom one so for example in the graphic you can have a look here if it's background and you can use the gradient the system will use the gradient or you can use the more colors and if you like have a look here you can see that if i will change the color the system will change the background here the system allow to you to specify the gradients yeah for example here so top color will be green one yeah and bottom color will be something darker so it's up to you you can change it a little bit and load it so you can go through the all colors what you can see here for example for the graphics for the geometry for the datum features for the sketcher preferences and lines and entity for the weakness dimensions and so on. So go through all the preferences and the system will change the colors for your Creo. And you can export this 
modification and the system will create for you the file with some names and the file will be SCL. What does it mean? If you will export this file and you would like to automatically load it again with another Creo session, you can do it really quickly. I will create a new configuration option. Yeah. So and another configuration option is system color file. And then you have to specify the path for the created file. Yeah, so you can have a look here. The first configuration options read on the folder and in the folder system looking for the DMT file. And the second option is the system color file, the system directly looking for this file. If you save this modification for config profile, and if you will run Creo one more time, voila, you have a new color for Creo. And if you have a look here, the system will automatically create a custom team. Again, you can change it a little bit, you can export it, and you can modify like you need. So enjoy the color for the system appearances for or for model appearances and with Creo 4.0 your model will be looks really really nice and smooth okay stay tuned my name is Vladimir and see you soon bye bye